You running, fool? Yeah. Well, why didn't you say so, fool? When I, when I well, why you and XO's here? It's copious amounts, episode 12. What do you think it was? The XYZ episode. XYZ, I think. Something like that. From your A's to your Z's. You know what I'm saying? All the letters in between. These boys take these letters and make up beautiful creations. Kind of like what we're going to do today. We got some sushi coming up. Chicken yakitori. We're making steak and cheese. Don't move. Episode 12. XYZ episode with Diamond District. YU XO's in the house. XO about to make XO sauce. Couldn't be more perfect. Don't move. Episode 12. Big ass beat about to drop right. Welcome back, episode 12, the XYZ episode. My family's in the house. XO's here. YU's here. Two thirds of the Diamond District. Um, we gotta get it popping. Let's make some kind of like diamond platter for my homies that's here. So what I wanna do is do something a little elevated. Um, these boys bars are super elevated. Uh, I respect them. I respect their grind. I respect their hustle. We work together, done shows together. We've experienced personal moments together as fathers, as human beings. I'm just, I'm honored and grateful that they're here. So I said, for me to go up a bar means we gotta make sushi. We gotta take it a level up. So if I fuck it up, I don't care because my boys is here. You know what I'm saying? It's XYZ episode. If you gotta start back over, you start back over. But. We do our work, we do our homework. So today, we're gonna make sushi. So, fresh seaweed right here, just like this. What we do is lay it down, rough side up. Important part about making sushi, have a bowl with a lot of water in it. You gotta keep your hands wet. It's just a must when making sushi. Your hands have to be extremely wet. Why? Because rice will stick to them, ingredients will stick to them. You need to make sure that you're doing the right thing. So, I got my beautiful seaweed here. Just unwrapped it, cut it, comes in a big square. When you get them like that, just cut them right in half. Then, you don't grab a spoon, you get in with your hands, all right? So, get a nice little bit of sushi. So as you can see, my hands are wet. That sushi rice is sticking to my hands. So, now we put it here. We spread from the middle out, okay? Now, when making sushi, especially when you have the seaweed on the outside, Again, hands in water. And you gotta move, this isn't a slow process. Make sure you leave an inch along the end of that side because what happens is that's gonna be the glue that's gonna bring your sushi together. So, I figure we'll make some sushi, we'll have some fun, and I'm gonna make a couple rolls, but it's copious amounts, damn it, it's episode 12. We gonna make a fried chicken and sweet potato sushi. That's how we starting off, baby. The gods is in the house. All right, so now I have some little fried chicken nuggets that I fried up earlier, nice and warm. Put them in old trusty. She made them hot again. Again, hands in water, all right? So I'm gonna take these little, this ain't KFC, son. This ain't Popeyes, it's Al Green's fried chicken house, son. Welcome, welcome, and you welcome, right here. Now, when you line up your sushi, whatever you're putting in your sushi, make sure you line it up one inch above your rice coming this way, okay? Guess what? Roasted some sweet potatoes. Almost burned them. Boo was like, I smell smoke. But guess what, that's that brown. It's flavoring that brown. Y'all know us, y'all know about it. Look, so, I got sweet potato, fried chicken, right here. Bamboo mat, wrapped in plastic, found at your international market. Asked Poppy son about it. He said, oh, you can find $4.99. I said, all right, my man, that's what I need right there. And that, guess what, he hooked me up and he gave me the good sushi rice. I see you, Poppy, I appreciate you. So, we'll take this side with the strings right there. That's what we want to roll on. 
Another thing, when you wrap your mat in Reynolds wrap, you have to, because you don't want it to stick. Same principle for the water. Make a couple slits, but not where the rope meets, because you don't want any kind of air that's gonna mess up your sushi roll. You wanna make sure it's flat and it's good to go. So, I'll take my sushi. Beautiful. Chicken. Sweet potato roll. You ready? Everybody behind the scenes is so quiet right now. They like, is this really about to make sushi on Kim? Yes, yes. It's copious amounts, fool. You thought I was out here playing games? XO is here. Why you is here? Lick a shot. We out here. Check it. This is how you make sushi. Fried chicken and sweet potato sushi to start your ass off. Let's go. Look, we are gonna come and pull back. Lift up our mat, just like this. See it? Holds the L up, you know what I'm saying? Hold that L up, it don't never die. Now, what you wanna do, take your mat, fold it, just like that. Make sure it touches. Me and my boys, we roll up a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And when we do, we make sure that is fire, like fire to it. Now, once it's rolled and it's sealed right there, take the two bars, press back, because you wanna make room for more bars. Gadget, you a genius. All right, here we go. So now we're gonna unroll that. Look, beautiful sushi roll starting off, forming. So we're gonna go back, do the exact same thing, except I'm not gonna press down with this. I'm gonna roll, because that's what the bamboo mat is for. Once I do that, flat here, I got a little bit of air in there. Did a bad job forming the mat, but it's all right, we out here. And we're making sweet potato sushi just like that beautiful sushi roll now what happens is you have rice that sticks out the end of these what we do take our sushi mat put it down move it over it's like a level push in what you do is when you push in you clean it up get your rice out of there don't need it anymore soldiers didn't make it all right now go to the other side boom press down also when you have your sushi roll, if you don't like the way it looks, always take your mat, press it. It's artistic, you can form it, you can do what you wanna do. Boom, sweet potato, fried chicken, sushi roll, right there. I told you, it's XYZ episode. It's a Diamond District episode, so guess what? We're making three different types of sushi. All right, here we go. Now, one of my personal favorites that we've done at home is the beautiful, beautiful fried calamari. See this? And onions and peppers. Onions and peppers come raw, all right? And this is where we're switching up our ingredients. Most sushi is served raw with cooked ingredients. Now we're cooking our fish and using raw vegetables. We're just putting a change on how things go. Remember, rough side down. Rough sides down. Now, hands in the water. A lot of water. Plenty of it. Especially for this rice, it's sticky. The one thing I'll tell you is when you're making sushi rice, right when it's done, it won't tell you this on a packet, but take half a cup of water, three, taste, three teaspoons of vinegar. When you do that, it'll help the rice kind of break out. And when you do that, you can just spread it a little bit more evenly. Now, with this roll, we're gonna do things just a tad bit different. Again, water. Rice is sticky, you gotta get your hands on that water. It's the water. So, again, spread along the sides of all your seaweed. This time, we're not gonna leave that one inch, and I'm gonna show you why, because we're gonna do something different with this one, all right? Get our hands in some more water, get our rice off, boom. Tap. Sesame seeds, toasted, black. Everything black matters. All right, now, sprinkle them right on top of our sushi, okay? Clean up, the important part, clean up. You don't wanna be making sushi. And she was like, do we got a mouse? I think I see mouse droppers. Be like, no, girl, I'm making sushi. I'm out here for you. Watch Copious Amounts, episode 12. Learn how to wrap and learn how to make some sushi. All right, so now we have that. Flip it right over. Okay, now we have our beautiful seaweed side down. Calamari, going in right now. 
fried calamari. Okay, onions, seasoned, but not cooked. We want a nice crunch to go with this calamari. Red pepper, not a lot. Green pepper, not a lot. We still wanna highlight and appreciate the seaweed and the rice. It is a process, it's a reason why sushi tastes the way it does. Excuse me, we don't wanna ruin that process. So, now, same principle, fold up, okay? Make sure you're tucking your calamari, your peppers, whatever, in. Again, those two bars down. Don't press down too hard. It's not squeezing, it's forming. It's a difference, you know what I'm saying? It's a big difference. We don't squeeze it out, son. We form like Voltron, blah. All right, now, come back. Look, we're gonna come back over and form again, all right? So now that we lift up our plastic, we have a beautiful, again, calamari roll, ready to go. We don't have to tuck the ends in and I'll show you why in a second. We're gonna go to our last one. Then we're gonna cut these babies up and we're gonna plate them, all right? Last one, shrimps and pour. Every hood's favorite, you know what I'm saying? Ask Benny Hanna and them, ask Sakura and them. Go out to Largo, ask your boy about it. They'd be like, oh, they really like the shrimp and pour. I was like, I know. I really like shrimp. We cook shrimp all the time on copious amounts. So we'll do a shrimp and pour roll. Same concept, except this time, again, it's the XYZ episode. We're gonna elevate it. Seaweed, rough side down. All right, hands, water. Rice. Remember, when your rice gets in, form it quick. Don't wait, all right? Right in the middle. Once it's in the middle, spread. See that? More water, more rice. Spread. Now, what matters with Shusi or anything in life? Anything black like us? Everything black matters from here on out. I don't care what they say. Boom, sesame seeds. Done, clean up. Remember, Al Green told you to clean up. Make sure you're presentable, present yourself. Present yourself the same way you present your bars. Same way my boys present themselves. They got their own clothing on. You hear me? They own clothing. XO out this joint, drip down. I see you, son. Why you what up? Look, now, we'll flip over onto our bamboo mat. My bad, see? Messing up already, it's okay. Talk talk I'm excited, I got my boys in the house. All right, here we go. Shrimp tempura. Now, look, reason why we love it so much. What they do is, they take one shrimp, right? That's one. Butterfly it, tempura it then they slice it. Reason why, not to get over on you, is because of presentation. So you take that tail and you make sure it fans out, okay? You take the other tail, make sure it fans out. And we'll get to why in a second. Now you have, boom, your middle. So now that we have our middle, we have some cucumber, pickled cucumber, right along all of it. Now what I'm gonna do is cheat and I'm gonna leave a slit right down the middle because that's gonna help me build my plate. So now that I have that, wipe my hands and get ready to roll this amazing, beautiful shrimp tempura roll for the homies in the house. So, shrimp's a little big, tuck. Remember, don't squeeze too much, just form and look. See that? That's where our plate presentation comes in. Fold back, all right? Now what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll bring her right here. That way we get a better roll. And we'll roll, boom. We have shrimp tempura roll. And this is how we're gonna freak her. And this is where we'll start plating, okay? so. I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff. And get 
my board ready? Because this is where we're gonna go with this. And we're rolling. All right, so shrimp tempura roll, beautiful. Looks great. What's gonna elevate it? The avocado. So when cutting your sushi, have a damn cloth next to you so you can wipe it. And then you wanna make sure when you pick it up, the water runs down a knife. It's the opposite trick of what I do when I squeeze a lemon. With all knives, liquid loves to run down the edge of them. You know, we ain't gonna talk about that, all right? All right, it's cool. It's cold-blooded killers in the house tonight, son. Copious amounts. So, we got a bunch of avocado here. We're gonna take this avocado, I sliced it, and I'm gonna put it right on top of this sushi. Take the other half, put it right on top of this sushi, just like this, okay? Take avocado, peel the skin off. Don't dig it out with a spoon. I know, I know, I'm sorry, I love you. It's just a technique that they do in Japan. I don't wanna not do their technique. So, now that you have that, you take your plastic, put it right on top, okay? Now, back, bamboo mat, on top of that. Again, we're not trying to squeeze the hell out of it. We're just trying to form. Once we form, eventually what we get is a beautiful, beautiful sushi roll. Just like that, okay? So, now is the fun part. Let's start the plate and start to cut. Important part, rag, wipe, okay? Wipe, it should be clean, extremely clean and sharp. Make sure you sharpen your knife ahead of time. So, we'll go, water down the knife. That little spot in the middle, I put a piece of avocado there. That lets me know it's there. Look how clean that cut is, all right? Now, again, wipe. Water, we'll go another one right here, okay? Wipe, water, another cut, just like that. Now, we have one, two, three, four pieces, but we want our side pieces and a couple more because we got family in the house. It's a beautiful thing. So, we'll make eight pieces, one here, okay? We'll make another one here. I'm feeling confident in my knife right now. It feels very sharp. So wipe water now for our plate presentation right here and on the end okay now what happens is you have all of your knife marks what's the beautiful thing about our bamboo mat form your art get your art together come right back to it and say hey i know i made some slits but guess what sometimes you get cuts sometimes you get bruises but you get back up and you look good when you do Take them bruises and make it worth it. Boom, now we have our shrimp tempura roll. Shrimp tempura roll usually comes with spicy mayo. We'll drizzle it on top. Today, we're gonna start right here in a circle. And I'm gonna draw a nice, beautiful line, just like this, all right? I'm gonna take my ends of my sushi and put them right here. Now remember when we, oh no, my sushi's coming apart, it's okay. When we did this, we took this bad part and we took it out. Guess why? Because you're beautiful, you're gonna make mistakes, but it's okay, because we out here making sushi. Now, I, all right, I got you, I got you. We're gonna come, we're gonna put our avocado sushi in a nice line, just like this. And then we're gonna stack the rest up, just like this, okay? Then, we're gonna take our beautiful eel sauce. And we're just gonna drizzle right on top of that. If it wants to come out, doesn't wanna come out. Guess what? Al Green's got backup plans, got backup eel sauce. And maybe this is the better way to go. Now, we'll drizzle that eel sauce, just like that, all over this beautiful sushi, okay? Oh, it's gonna be fun tonight. Homies is in the building. We're gonna take some gorgeous mandarin oranges. I'm gonna set them right here. Why? Because of orange, cleanse your palate. So if you wanna get another piece of sushi, eat an orange in between. 
because then you're gonna get the true taste of the sushi, not the sushi that you had in the other part that you're trying. What is sushi without beautiful pickle ginger right in the middle? Just like that, boom. It's the Diamond District episode, y'all. It's plate one, all right? Let's go to plate two. Okay, it's a gorgeous plate. Got it from a man. It's my peoples. He looks out for me. It's copious amounts. So, it's our fried chicken and sweet potato, sushi. We don't need to wrap this one in saran wrap. All we gotta do is cut it right down the middle, just like that. And we go to the ends and to the other end. Again, wipe, cut. Just make sure you're quick on your cuts. You can use your knife more times. One more cut here, one more cut there. We're gonna also have two more cuts to finish this plate off. One here and one here. Now, I'm gonna take this and put our rice end up and then we'll put our highlight of chicken and sweet potato inside, okay? And we will cover up any mistakes because mistakes are part of the beautiful art process. And sometimes they make your process just a little bit more beautiful because it shows the human in it. It shows who we are, especially as black people. Who would have ever thought young black boy like me, you know what I'm saying, roaming the streets of DC, you know, all around, would be here making sushi, trying to, you know, put my people on. But here we are in copious amounts. This is our sushi right here. So, eel sauce. Again, drizzle, just like that. Now, we're gonna take some gorgeous, gorgeous alfalfa sprouts, if I can find them. I think they're right here. And we're gonna pluck off the top and just put those right on top of this gorgeous sushi, okay? Now while that's on there, we'll also take some of our cilantro and put that right in the middle. And that can be an extra garnish for your guest. Last roll coming up. Make some noise back there, y'all. Y'all with me or what? What's up, I'm making sushi over here. Y'all didn't think they was back there. You know what I'm saying? I got the goonies out here, son. <laughs> Let's go. Don't be scared to talk. I love y'all. So now we got our last roll. Beautiful roll. All right. This is our gorgeous calamari and pepper roll. Look inside of it. All right. Now, see where I'm getting rice everywhere. I'm going to rinse my hands, wash my knife, and cut this so we can get my boys up here and we can eat some sushi. I'm going to cut just like that. Slide. Cut again. Slide. Out. Knife, water, clean knife, super clean knife, all right? It's the one thing I told you from the start. Do your art, do your work. If you don't like your presentation, what are you gonna do with it? You're gonna take your bamboo mat, you're gonna bring it together, and you're fold it one at a time, all right? Then you do the other one, one at a time. Now you went from something that was slightly sloppy to somewhat sexy what we're gonna do with this. Put it right here. More alfalfa sprouts. Right in the middle. Beautiful sushi. Right around it. We'll press down slightly just so it stands up. Okay. And again, we'll take our eel sauce because it's just absolutely beautiful. We'll get those out of there. Got you. And we'll drizzle all around, just like that. All right? Guess what? What is it without beautiful wasabi? We'll put that right there in the middle. That's our wasabi for the entire plate. Yo, guess what? Diamond District, two thirds of them are here. Al Green, I'm here. Um, plate looks very sexy, but my boys are here. 
guess what? We're not gonna stop there. I made some pot stickers. I made them earlier, I just was feeling good and I said, hey, you know what? They gonna come through. Let's get some pot stickers to go with this thing. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody was sitting their ass down when I started making this Now everybody up taking pictures like, oh Al, I didn't know you had it like that. Well, guess what? Your boy's back in the building, son. We out here, DC, we out here. Let's go, boom, pot stickers right here. Shrimp, mushroom. I made the dough from scratch, I'm not even front. I'll show you a picture. Look, shrimp, mushroom, cilantro, sesame oil. Um, I saved a couple because you know, we got family here. More of these beautiful chives right here to go right on top. And my spicy mayo wasn't working, but guess what? If it ain't working for you, that don't mean you don't use it. We are gonna use this spicy mayo today. We are gonna put a little bit on the spoon. We are gonna give a couple dollops, just like that. You know what I mean? Tell them, G. And we are gonna give a couple dollops in case you guess one of a couple splashes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the XYZ episode. My name's Al Green. I got two thirds of Diamond District in the house. Guess what? They coming up. Chicken yakitori with XO and XO sauce. Me and YU making steak and cheese sandwiches. This is your beautiful, gorgeous display of sushi. Three ways, Diamond District sushi. Psst, with a splash of pot stickers. Holla at your boy, episode 12. XYZ episode, copious amounts. Don't move, coming right back, blah. Yo, welcome back. Like I said, beautiful sushi spread. It's been so much fun and now we're getting into the, the grits of the show, which I love is having my people on here, doing what they do. Um, some years ago, a group formed, a super group. And by the likes of a brother named Odyssey, who I personally know and love, uh, he's the first dude to take me to Europe on tour and show me what it's like to be an artist. Uh, working with him, I actually was purchasing my beats because I really wanted a raw sound. I really wanted to be embraced in the hip hop community. From doing that, working with him and working with my brothers, I was able to ignite a fire that now stands as our hip hop from where we are in the nation's capital, Maryland, Virginia, and beyond. This super group is consisted of three members. Two of them are here today. One goes by the name of YU, another one goes by the name of XO. These brothers lyrically play with your feelings. They take words seriously, and I mean seriously. They ride patterns that DC rappers don't ride. They do things so intricately with the wordplay, you kind of feel like they're talking to you. And I love that because that's exactly what hip hop is. It should touch you, it should talk to you. Activists, fathers, mentors. I mean, these brothers are the epitome of what DC hip hop is. And I'm so glad we got them here. It's episode 12 and that's why we're calling it the XYZ episode because we got XO and YU in the house. Coming from right here, my brothers, welcome to Copious Amounts. Yeah. XO, what up? Yeah, my man, brothers, welcome to Copious Amounts. So good to see y'all. Yo, you, as you saw, I, I wanted to make a spread for you. I didn't want to hold back. I wanted to push myself further. You guys pushed me so much. I was like, how can I, you know, give back? So we got fried chicken, sweet okay. potato. Okay. We got some calamari and peppers, some shrimp and pour. Yo, let's dig in. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's have a good time. Here's a plate, brothers. How you feeling? You feeling good to be on Copa some or what? Great. You feeling good enough to eat with chopsticks, or you want a fork? Oh no, let's get fancy with it. Oh, let's go. How you feeling? You want the fork? Ah. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Look, so with these. Uh, pot stickers I made. This is like a little soy, ginger, brown sugar dressing that you can put with that. Pretty good. Everything else, you know, go as is, brothers. Please, enjoy, enjoy. While y'all enjoy, I want to ask y'all a couple questions. I'm glad to have y'all here. Um, 
I'm pulling out the paper because it's important for this one. Oh, X, Y, Z episode, everything's ready. Are we ready. dipping in that, in that right there? Yo, that, that, that this sauce, sauce right here, but what I did is I put the sauce right here for you. Okay. Wow, okay. so you just rub it across the plate. Gotcha. You know what I mean? It's artistic. I ain't even want to like <laughs> But you can. This is a, a different sauce that I made for the pot stickers, but you know, make yourself at home, man. Um, I'm really, I'm really curious to try this. Uh, you know, oh, you got one of those? Yeah. All right, then let's go. You want some of this wasabi? Yeah. Boom. Got some? Spread a little bit on top of there. Remind me with that one, what was it again? Calamari. Okay, Peppers. So this was the fried, fried chicken. chicken. You see how sophisticated we fried are? Chicken. We ain't go for the fried chicken well, first. We went for the shrimp and the calamari first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Chicken without it be just salt, right? What's that sauce in here? This is soy, ginger, brown. Man, just get into the salt. Dunk in dunk in it Go like for it. Here, I can I, just... here. Ready? Ready? Ow! Wow, look at it. Oh, you want some? Oh, why not? Come on. God damn it. Diamond District's here. We be out to act the full. You just had a shrimp joint. Nope. That was, I thought it was calamari. This one? Oh, that's calamari. Get another shrimp joint, man. Go for it. I'm gonna do it again. All right, yo. We here. I ain't gonna lie. That thing right there, smack me in the face. That's a sweet potato, right? Smack me right in the face, right here. Come on, go for it. All right, so beautiful thing about chopsticks, all right? I'm gonna tell you a beautiful thing about chopsticks, all right? So when you wanna serve somebody and you got chopsticks and you're like, oh, I gotta find something, you can always flip them yeah. and use the clean and then the chopsticks. Mm -hmm. That's if they okay with, you know. Yeah. But you usually with family when you eat a meal like this. Y'all family, y'all here. Appreciate you, Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you. I got some beautiful hey. beers. Before we get into this beer, I got important questions to ask y'all. And they're really important to me. I want to get them out the way now. Okay. How in the hell did Diamond District form? How? How did it happen? I need to know this story. The world needs to know this story. Um, that was Odyssey, man. One day came to us and was like, you know what? I'm gonna do an album and I'm gonna do uh and I'm gonna do a tour, just like you were saying what he what he did with you. Yeah. And um, he took us on that on that experience as well. Right. I mean, it started with the song, on the, uh, foot in the door joint. The so, foot in the door. Yeah. The mixtape. And the you know the response from that song yeah. was like Gully. The song was yeah, called Gully. Uh, exactly. Gully. Yeah. Which was like I should do more of that. And then by the time he was in Europe, he was like, you know what, I'm gonna bring y'all out this joint, but we got to do a record to make that make sense. Exactly. And he was sending joints back. He sent the joints back to me and him. We so he's sending miles. joints from Europe to y'all? Yeah. Like? Uh, streets, what's the name? Uh, streets won't let streets me chill. Let me had the hook you. on it. Come over here. He already had the hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the hook on it. Was XO supposed to move? No, no, no. He's supposed to stay over there. Yo, here, come back over here, son. Oh, sure. Let me tell you something, all right? Don't edit the <laughs> all right? Don't edit the <laughs> We got two mics. We out this <laughs> trying to make this work. So guy just like, y'all need to do this, this, but guess where we at? We here. Copious amounts, episode 12, as you were saying. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> Look, XO, let's have some fun. I got my peoples out in Laurel. They hooked me up with a bunch of beers and I know you don't drink, so I figured since me and him are the drinkers, we could play a game. The fun thing about these beers is, this one's called Poor Righteous IPA. It's a piggy bank with a hole in it, with headphones on. Okay. See that? Poor Righteous IPA. From the Poor Righteous Teachers. The Godfathers. Shout out to them. Okay. Shout them out. Wise Intelligence. Wise Intelligence, yes. Now, we got Respond React. Okay. I think we all kind of understand what that identifies too. Yes, Malik B, we love you. Yeah. Um, Roots Crew, we salute you. We bow down. And we also have the big Punisher IPA. So, I mean, they didn't play no games with these beers. So, what's gonna happen is, beers is for you. Okay, okay. You'll run off camera. Okay. You're gonna pour one. We're okay. gonna try to guess what it is. Yeah. All right, so, XO. Yes, 
Guess what it is. We're gonna try to guess. What's significant about this HD? All right, so they're all a IPA. They're all an Indian Pale Ale. But the big punisher, I'm thinking, is gonna be like a big IPA. The Poor Righteous Teachers, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a cool 40 on a hot summer day. A Willingham 40. I see why I gotta be that. <laughs> no, but it's gonna be fun. And then we'll have um, the Respond React, which I feel like should be a, a very, very good beer. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, now y'all gotta guess which one it is. All right. Mm. Looks interesting. All right, so this is from the Poor Righteous, the Big Punisher, and the other one. You ready? All right, cheers, brother. We slam it down when we hit. I'm going with Poor Righteous. You going with Poor Righteous? What you going with? Poor Righteous say, or Big Punk? So yeah. I'm thinking this one's going to have a ton of hops. Yeah, well, that might be this one. Big Punch. You think so? I give it that one. He's right. It's a Big Punch. <laughs> Yo, real recognized, real son. Can't front. Can't front. All right, so Big Punch, we've identified the Big Punisher. So now, it's a head to head battle, son. And I'm going to beat you, son. We here. <laughs> The beer wrap off. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How's family? Yeah, everybody good. Yeah? Doing about the you look today. the same way you looked when I met you 20 years hey, ago. Man. Why you don't age? I don't know what it is. All right, I, all right here we go. Yeah, Exo's yeah, back. Right mm, mm. Let's see what that is. Here we go. Oh, that's light. This is between what? This is between the poor righteous and, and uh, the respond react. react. Yep. All, right. all right. Ready? Right. Cheers. Slam it down. Now don't respond. Okay, now react. Right. Mm -hmm. Quit. Quit. Respond, react. Poor right. He's right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, I'll be right back. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right, yo, so, good, all right, so look, we had the big pond, right? And the respond, react. That's a big pond. That's the big pond. This is a respond, react, right? Yo, let's taste this one. Let's see, what's, let's see what it's hitting on. <laughs> some slow shit, cause there's only one fucking beer left. <laughs> I'm going on camera and shit. Like, there's only one beer left. Hey, 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 we know it's one beer left, but let's taste it, man. Let's let's get it. Let's taste it. Let's let's see what it's hitting on. Yo, like I said, we live in a cool area where they make beers and they name them after rappers and rap groups. Yo, we got rappers that you shouldn't overlook. We're gonna pour this last beer, and then we're gonna get set up. Hey, look, I got a top one of them Jones again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. What's so this, this is the what's which one? The Poor Righteous Teachers or the Poor Righteous IPA. Salute to y'all. Mm -hmm. They all different. Oh, that's great. Let's go. This is good beer, man. Yeah. With sushi, sushi, beer, Diamond District. We here. Episode 12. The XYZ episode. Move out the way because XO's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. XO's here. Yo, eat some food. Don't move. We coming right back. We're making chicken yakitori. We're making steak and cheese. I swear it's going to be such a, such a good time. Diamond District's here. Two thirds of Diamond District. Oh, we love you. We see you. Come through soon. Here we are. Don't move. Copious amounts. Episode 12. Be right back. Be right back. Hey, what episode is it? 12. 12? Okay. Episode 12. Episode 12. Copious and Mouse. You know what I'm saying? XO, why you? XO, why you? Hold on. <laughs> hey, XO, why you? Why you? Copious, Copious and Mouse, episode 12. Episode 12. Man, let's get lit. You already know. Cultural <laughs> culture, man. I'm about to make my own sauce, man. Get with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, welcome back. Copious and Mouse. Blau, blau. Bling, bling, blau, blau. XO, why you? In the building, two thirds of Diamond District, two independent artists getting a thing on, putting DC on the map. Yo, they're here. What up? It's good. How you doing? Yo, so we're gonna do a couple things tonight. And as always, I'm always excited about copious amounts. I'm really excited to have you brothers on. I wanted to do something straight up DC and straight up uptown. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we're gonna make some chicken yakitori and steak and cheese sandwich. 
all over the track like extra cheese. Come on. Y'all know what it is. Yo, y'all had two monumental albums. Two of them. Yeah. Two of them. And like when the first one came out, I was like, all right. No, nah, yeah, yeah. He's talking about Diamond Dish. Because I came out with Monumental. It's okay. You know, you know what I'm saying? But he's talking about Diamond Dish. I do a little rap with myself sometimes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Try to throw the word play in there. Let them know. No, nah, but um In the Rough March on Washington. Yes. Yeah. No and out of the two albums, which ones you guys like the most? Oh man, look at these faces. They, they, look they at these faces. Mean, I look at it like this. One is a pear, one is an apple. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Different flavors. I love both of them. It's just different, different flavors. Different flavors. Yeah. How you feeling different about feel. it? Different feel. I mean, it's, it, they mean different things, but both of them important. So. Well, I love March on Washington, but in the rough. Yeah, yeah. that's the initial. In the rough you know. that. Come on. Yeah. yeah. The process so, was the same. That's, that's the apple the right there. Keep my chin up, neck straight, check my shoulder, soul up. All right, so let's <laughs> let's make some food. Let's, do it. let's, let's do make it. some food. While we make some food, I'm gonna ask you guys some questions. Um, we're gonna make some chicken yakitori. Basically, what it is is it's a chicken skewer, and what you do is you line up your skewer with uh, chicken. Usually, it's chicken thighs. I want us to eat a little healthier. That's why I wanted to do this thing. Me and Gadget right. talked about it. Um, and we put some scallions, which are green onions, in between them. So those are both grilled at the same time. So that's that, but it don't mean nothing without sauce. So I don't want to make like the regular like XO sauce. I, you was here, I was like, let's make a DC XO sauce. So we're going to make a yakitori sauce, but we're going to add a little XO to it, a little uptown to it. All right, now for you, Brother, we go back, like way back. And I figured like, let's take it as DC as we can. It ain't a cheese day. Um, it ain't a burger chopped up with cheese on it. We eat steak and cheese around here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. So we gonna do a steak and cheese on a beautiful ciabatta bun. And I bought two of them because both of y'all brothers is here. So, I mean, we're going to have a lot, a lot of fun. So, XO, what I need you to do is we're going to grab some of these uh, skewers right here. Mm -hmm. And what you'll do is you'll take a piece of chicken. And you can just take the chicken, put one piece on there. Yeah, okay. I, I got you through real quick. All right. So we just grab a little piece of chicken just like that. Shit, uh, yo, it's good, man. Go in. Go in. Y'all, y'all rapidly rapid. So basically take a piece of chicken like that. Okay. We'll take one little small green onion. All right. Just find a little spot. Just trying to stab yourself on the finger. And just go like that. And just continue to do that process until we get two of these. I made a bunch earlier, because obviously it would take us forever okay. doing that. But go I ahead and that off for you. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So while we're doing that, while you we gonna break bread. Uh, we're gonna take this, just like this, and we'll take our knife right down the middle of it. And what we'll do is we won't cut all the way through the bread. We'll just cut kind of like this. And then once we get there, we'll take our knife back in and then we'll hold it against the board and just pull it through. And after that, it should open up nice and beautiful, just like that. All right, so you go ahead and do that. Why y'all doing that? U Street, DC hip hop scene. Where were you? What were you doing? Why you? Where was you at? What, what year is this? Uh, <laughs> let's go with 2001. 2001. 2001. I was somewhere on U Street, actually. Uh, I know you were somewhere bar, on U Street. Bar none. Bar none. Bar none. Yeah. Shout out to Bar None. It's not Bar None no more. Yeah, it turned into pure actually. It's and pure. Know, <laughs> <laughs> Turn into pure. Turn into pure. Pure lamb. Exactly. I think, was that around that same time where XO was trying to um, basically perform with the open mic? In fact, I remember when, uh, who's my joint? The, uh, no, 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 the remix joint. I, I did the remix for obviously. Come on, right. Riding, right. I remember yeah, when you recorded 
So this song is called what now? Riding. 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 It's one of it. It's one of, it came that, out on what? It came but the out day on you did it. I just noticed it. you got the, Gucci the you on your did, glasses. You did it at the bar none off, XOC. off your phone though. Yeah. Like off the drunken style. And actually my man Matt, you got exactly. wasn't trying, on your he wasn't trying to let you go. He wasn't trying to let you perform. I had to earn my strike. But I had to drunk. tell him, I told him, you got to trust my man. You know what I'm saying? So basically he let him go because he had to get on the train before exactly. the train left or whatever. I had to earn my and stripes because being exactly. young coming from Capital City Records, which was an all age joint, you know what exactly, I'm saying? Exactly. But now, Capital City 18, Records, that was on U Street. Down the yeah, street. that was Up, right. upstairs. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, upstairs. Exactly. That's uh, where I met Odyssey and YU yeah. and right. Magic. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, much, yeah, yeah. With us meeting, that was like a, a spot. Like yeah. uh, on Friday, it was the only place I could go. Like I was a kid. I was mom. 16. Right. 16. And I was 16 right. in that drink. So 17, exactly. 18, I'm trying to get in the bar, bar none. Exactly. I'm up at bar none now. They're like, who the fuck is this guy? And he died exactly. like thugs. I was with you out. And they was on some finger snap type vibe. Right. And they jail like at first. So well, I came in there and they was like, nah, this guy's cool. You know what? I want to shout, shout somebody Jabari, out. You know what Jabari. Jabari. That's exactly Jabari. what I said. I wanted to shout him out because he was the host. And yeah, I remember Jabari, he uh, he found a gig for like three weeks. Mm -hmm. And I had rocked at Bar None a couple times gotcha. at the open mic. And um, he was like, yo, I need you to host for like the oh, next three know? weeks. I, I, so I got to host Bar None with Biscuit on the drums. And they didn't the know me. Host, yes, player. yes. And yeah. I remember hosting that show for three weeks. And that's when yeah. I had my album coming out, uh, Why Be Somebody Else. Through the raucous, you know, stuff. But I just wanted to shout out Jabari. Like, thank you for that opportunity because that was that was huge for me as an artist to be like, oh, you trust me enough to host your show, and we had a good time. And I mean, the vibe there. I remember the first night I hosted. It was um, cognac night. It was free uh, cognac. Show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And it was packed. And I was like, all right. Well, we'll just kind of get through it. And I learned about what it's like to host open mic and everybody on the list. And why it's important for artists like XO and you and myself to get on these lists because when you go to an open mic, especially back in the day on U Street, I remember yeah. if you didn't get there early and get your name on the list, oh, you was done. Yeah, you, you had to show up at five, ten minutes. get your yeah. name on the list. Or and have it's, somebody know you. Exactly, you. exactly. So yeah, A lot of people don't know this, but when I when bar none, they turned turn to Pure Lounge. Then I took it over and started running the joint. Exactly. And then that's Fat Trail like the was 16. Yeah. Fat Trail. Fat Trail was 16. Talk I'm, to I'm, him. Got him I'm, in letting, there. Exactly. I'm letting him get in there at 16. And exactly. I ended up segueing him to Wale and with you up and Rick Ross and it up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, so let me ask you this. Yeah. With the importance of that, because I think it's very, very important because a lot of our artists came from that scene. Okay. You guys came from that scene. I came from that scene. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about U Street now? Will we ever get it back? Will it ever be what we imagined? Because I look at State of the Union and I rock so many shows there, but like it's just been empty since we closed it down almost 20 years it's ago. Hard. But it's you know, we never that. seen a Mochella. You know the Mochellas. Mochella. Mochella. And, that, and, that, and they took that was George, beautiful. They took George Avenue Day away and they took the Unifest away. Exactly. But now we got Mochella. Mochella. And then it's right. Tell them what Mochella is real quick. Mochella is like uh <laughs> the movie. What's, we you know what Coachella is. You know what Coachella is, but Mochella, Mochella. is named off the world we say in DC Mo. Like, what's up, Mo? You know what I'm saying? Kill Mo, you know what I'm saying? We say that's like, like, <laughs> that's, like that's a, a song. Rhymes with Joe. It rhymed with Joe. You know, <laughs> All right. We had the don't you don't you DC movement because they were trying to like take away Go Go or something happened yeah. the way they was complaining, complaining about, about the noise, or the the noise. noise and stuff like that and the new people that was coming in town. And it's on. You know, I want to say it's on Florida movement. and um, seven. Seven. seven yes. Florida, right. That yeah. since I've been in DC. Yeah. Forever, go -go right they've here. been playing go go music yeah. right there. Remember when the Ellington opened up across the street from Bar Nine? Exactly. The first yeah. day it opened, they had people complaining about the noise, and this yeah. club has been going forever. Exactly. Right. They literally exactly. tried to get them to turn their Facts. sound down in the club, but you Facts. place the hotel across the street. Yeah. And this is, you know, us giving the world our culture, and then the culture that appreciates. Our world is saying, wait, turn it down. That's, right. that's yeah. not how the and game goes. That's why, that's why it's cultural. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, look, um, XO, marvelous job. You, Willingham, I love you. 
Yo, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this spicy mayo and we're gonna rub it on all of this bread right here, all right? So we can go ahead and start that. While you're doing that, I'm gonna grab the steak. So, yo, steak and cheese all over the track like extra cheese. This is it. So while he's doing that, Exo's working on the chicken yakitori. We're gonna make sure we season all of this beautiful, thinly shaved ribeye steak, all right? Very, very, very important, okay? Now. It's supposed to spray on both? Uh, yeah, on both, yeah. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It just. No, not on those. We're gonna do something different with those. Exo's working on the yakitori. We got the steak here. I'm gonna grab a sheet pan. While I'm grabbing that, I'm gonna ask some more questions, all right? So, you guys growing up in DC, DC boys, DC natives, yeah. in a go go influenced capital, what brought you to do what you do now? What brought you to say, hey, I wanna, I wanna do that, but I wanna take it a level up and rap? Like, cause you boys rap, you boys are the top tier of rappers when, it, when I think about people. Like, I shout you guys out all the time. So, what, what gets you away from being in the band, being in the go-go band? Well, shit, I say for myself, in high school, we was rhyming with like jazz bands and, and all that, really. And I even started doing that because my older brother was rhyming. And he would come home with like, uh, I knew that he was rapping, but then he came home with a piece of vinyl and his government name was on it. And he showed me that and he was like, wow. Like, you actually did that, did that. Right. And then like, it was like a seed that grew into me figuring I could do the same. So, for you. Yeah. And I hear some of your stuff. Yeah. It is heavily go-go influenced. Definitely. Yes. What made you up it and say, hey, I, I want to show these dudes this is just not my lane. In oh. a city where that's supposed to be your lane. Yeah. I just want to. Exo smiling. Exo, He's making man. chicken yakitori. <laughs> I just got to do You're something. You're so perfect. Yours looks so much better than mine. Look look at this. <laughs> look at this. I mean, that's gorgeous. Like, look at you. Hey, I tried. Man. Out here. Man. Out here. When everybody, you know, go right, I try to go left, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that type of guy. You know? Okay. Unknown, unknown origin. That's what Exo uh, stands for. Like, I'm gonna do the unexpected, you know what I'm saying? Like, so unexpected. tell them one more time what EXO stands for. Like, make sure they hear it. Like, unknown, I'm on them... Unknown origin. They just know you're not gonna see me coming. What I'm doing next, you're not gonna see me coming, you're not gonna expect it. You know what I'm saying? And with my art, I always wanted to come with that approach, you know what I'm saying? Based on, especially coming to Bar None, I look a certain way, so they may say this, that, and the third, and the who's this guy? You know what I'm mean? saying? So I had to go on the mic and really, like, prove it, you know, uh -huh. prove it, you know what I'm saying? Unexpectedly, like, and they respect you. So, why you help me out here? We're gonna get a couple pieces of this beautiful shaved ribeye steak. Go ahead and grab it. Yeah, just go ahead in there. Yep, and we'll just take little pieces. We'll put it on there. No, it's all good. It's all good. We keep we keep a couple people here. You know, keep the family here. Everybody's behind the scenes, and I love it. Um, during COVID, I've been asking everybody this. Yeah. Um, what's your mind state like? When you're on the grind, you're pushing, you're, you're getting it done, you know, you can't go do the promo in the streets, you, you know, you're limited to what you can do. You know, what do you guys do to cope as artists and, you know, as family, as fathers, as, you know, everything that you guys do? What do you do to cope in that kind of situation? Honestly, it didn't really change a whole lot for me. I, I've been kind of, when they were staying in, I was like, cool, y'all doing what I've been doing. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, just, yeah. I work hard, I make bread, and I Lay create in the time that, that I'm not doing that. So, XO, your you know, mind state. Same thing. Same thing? Same exact thing. It ain't too much change. I'm already... Solitude. A little bit of salt, and then we just sprinkle it right on top. Yep. Um, you know, building up, planning my next uh, uh, move. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And bettering my execution, studying. You know what I'm saying? So I can 
be better. Like what, what, what the next piece of art that I'm presenting to the world. You know what I'm saying? So while we're talking to you, yeah. in 2020, you yeah. dropped three projects. No, I'm about, I'm about to. Well, so you've dropped two, two, two projects. Two projects. One uh, with um, Kent Brown. That culture over out. corporate. Yeah, volume one. With volume Drew, one. With Drew Dave and culture Soulful. Yeah, right? Soulful. Yeah. Soulful. Nah, and shout out Soulful. So, shout out Soulful. That's how I know him. You know what I'm saying? Come Drew on Dave. now. Drew Dave. Yep. It's the family. And um, Kent Brown on the last drum. We did an EP. My my boy. EP. My family. Shout out to the, the, Al, the, Ken. Ken, uh, the Al Green album classic joint. You know what I'm saying? Yo. I mean, forever be my Brown. brother. I love you, brother. You know this. I met Cat Brown on Q Street. You know what I'm saying? It's like a Alright, so we can go ahead and take our gloves off now. Mm -hmm. Now we about to get like super busy. It's go it's gonna All be right, a ton it. of fun. Alright. So we got our steak here. We'll ask some more questions. Um, boom. Beautiful shave ribeye. Presented by Marvelous YU. Going into the back of the oven, alright? Now, what we'll do is we'll get another sheet pan. Stay right there, XO. I move kind of fast sometimes, I'm sorry. Yeah, and we'll get our olive oil on here. Now what I want you to do is take these, just like that. Okay, okay. And you take this. Okay. No, go ahead and salt them up. Salt them thing? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Let's do it, boom, let's do it like that. Yes, yes, come on, let's go. Blow. All right, good, yeah, some more. All right, let's put. Some why you experience on it. Come on now. Blow. Come on. Just uh, that way. Yep. Now twist the top. Yes. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Now, chicken yakitori is these skewers, you gotta soak them in water for like 20 minutes so they don't burn when they go in the oven. Now, what we'll do is we're gonna lay these down on the opposite side. Just like that. Season them again. On the pan? Yeah. No. Yes. Yes? Okay. That's, that's exactly that's what, what we're going to do. That's what yes. I thought. You know what yes. I mean? I would tell them I am I'm just like a foodie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? So now, we'll go all the way across all of that. So, I've been on tour with Odyssey. Yeah. But it wasn't the height that you guys went on tour. Quartermain with you, who was on the show not too long ago. Right, my brother. Um, DJ, what's it like being on tour overseas, having people scream and go crazy over your music? Uh, it was beautiful mm -hmm. going over there and um, having that, and just having you know your art being appreciated mm -hmm. by strangers. You know what I'm saying? It's one right. thing when you're back home, right? You may see a familiar face. You know what I'm saying? But when you got complete strangers. That's interested in appreciating your art, you know what I'm saying? That definitely hit home, you know what I'm saying? That's beautiful. Yeah, For you, what's it like? Same. It was great, man. Same thing? Just, uh, XO. Like we were Throw it back there. Throw that thing back yeah, there? Yeah, go for it. Coliseum. Uh-huh. Roman Coliseum. Just got Hold on, wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. You just said it like it was nothing. You were where? The Roman Coliseum. The Roman Coliseum. Yeah, so wait, so Diamond District was in the Roman Coliseum. Yeah, we, I mean, at this time, we weren't. Who cares? The show was like the next day. It don't matter. We up there like sightseeing and then folks would run up on us. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Like, yeah. Damn, bro. Our Italy, they cook for us. That was, yeah. They cook real Italian, you know what I'm saying? It's like, beautiful yeah. when you're over there because yeah. Europe is so embracing. I remember like um, we went to do a show and they made us pumpkin risotto. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, like here I am in Italy in his right. back hallway in pumpkin risotto. And then like seconds later, Kev Brown ran up to me and he's like, yo, they tried to give me some coke in the bathroom. What do I do? And I was like, yo, like, I was like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's the beautiful thing about tour is you, right. you know, when you get certain places, they appreciate you they as do. the artist right. and not as necessarily, like you said, your boy who knows you or someone who sees you all the time. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, it's really appreciated. Almost like when you cook the food, with somebody and they really don't know you, so they're not gonna give you the fake, oh, he's good. No, this person really likes it, you know what I'm saying? Come on. They really feel it. Yo, you know? we're here. Yo, we're about to make some exo sauce. Me and you, we're gonna get busy with these peppers and onions, these tomatoes, this arugula, this ground mustard. Um, 
XO, I got this cranked up a little bit. Okay. We got our meat in the oven. We're gonna pull it out. So what we need you to do is go ahead. I know you look, you hear it sizzling. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard not to look yeah. back, yeah. right? Yeah. Right? So what I want you to do, this XO sauce, y'all. Okay. So we need XO. You need brandy to make XO sauce. You cannot make XO sauce without the fine, beautiful brown. You know what I mean? Okay. So what you gonna do, go ahead and pour yeah. that in there. No. Pour this in we're, gonna, we're gonna skip all of this. All right, yeah. We're gonna pour it right in there. Whole thing in it? Yes. Oh, look at that beauty. Oh, they look gorgeous. We'll let them sit right here for a quick second while we're doing that. That's gorgeous. Now, we're gonna go. XO sauce, y'all. Let's go. All right, soy sauce. Oh, thing in it? Yes. Vinegar. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, that's water. It's good, you're good. Vinegar. Yeah. I'm quick though. I got you. Mm -hmm. Whole thing in it? Yep. Rice wine. Rice wine. Garlic. Garlic. Ginger. Beautiful. Yo, grab. what's the name of this beautiful sugar you gave me? What's the name of it? Turbinado sugar. It ain't brown sugar, turbinado sugar. Go ahead. All of it. Boom. Cornstarch, five teaspoons. Five teaspoons. All right, ready? This. Nice little mix going on. We'll turn your temperature down a little bit. And go ahead. Very slow. Take your time with it. All right, why you? You ready? Step over here. So, we're going to get this bread ready. Now, while we're getting this bread ready, I'm going to ask you another question. You as an MC have always been so inspirational to me. Uh, your writing recording process, what's it like? Right. What is why you do when he starts, wakes up in the morning, like do you drink, you know, three cans of spinach and then, you know, run around the block 20 times and then come back and write rhymes? Like, how's it go? And I'm leaving the beat on loop and trying to catch feelings. I'm trying, to, trying to hear something that make me pull something out that I wasn't you know, I wasn't thinking a few seconds ago. All right, this is stone ground mustard. We're just going layered on top of there. So, you leaving the beat on loop. How long is it on loop? It depends. Sometimes it's short, sometimes it's all day. Sometimes I gotta go to the next one. Really? Because, like, I feel like when you rhyme, you talk to people. And I feel like when XO rhymes, he talks to people. Together, you guys. Yo, what's that song y'all blacked out on that one time? What was that? Uh, oh man, I wish I could remember the name of the song. Roddy, you know what I'm talking about. What was the name of the song? You sent it to me. Bonus Flow? No, it wasn't Bonus Flow. What was it? It was years ago. They got, they got many of them. I know, y'all got many of them. And I mean, y'all been blacking out for so long, I can't even remember the name of the songs, but I mean, when you- To me, XO, I said chemistry wise, it's never been, it's never been hard. It's been a good thing. No, it's always no, yeah. a smooth transition. It's been a good thing. You know, yeah. seeing you brothers Sometimes come here. working with folks is like forcing a little bit. Right, it's right, never right. Been that. I can say it's you know, thing. seeing y'all talk before we got started and shooting and stuff, uh -huh. like y'all kind of went in your own zone and went on about the things that you guys see. Like, I love that, man. I feel oh, like, yeah. you know, you guys, you have that chemistry as brothers to yeah. get on the it's record and say, yo, we respect. from DC, yeah. we do this, ain't nobody f with us. Right. Is that what it feels like for y'all when y'all in the studio together? Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. And and it's like having the, uh, the, like, the chip on our shoulder, the same chip on our shoulder as like the South had when people were saying they was couldn't MC or they couldn't right. rap, so right. it's like, we close to uh, up New York, but we still got that chip on our shoulder. So it's like we rap that way. You know what I'm saying? Like we can, we we the nicest that way. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think we still have that chip on our shoulder. Like we still haven't got our um our just do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you know, that's 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 a good thing though. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's what makes us us. You know. But. All, right. All right, so 
I got your chicken out of the oven. Mm -hmm. Looks beautiful. Okay. Next to you is a brush. Okay, what are we doing? Yo, XO been whipping this sauce, y'all, like nobody better. We had to cut, he was whipping that shit so hard. Like, <laughs> whipping this sauce. Look at this beautiful steak. I mean, come on. Mm. Come on. Bam, 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 bam. Come on. We on front on copious amounts. Right. It's love. Yo, provolone cheese all on top. You, brush in this. Drizzle right on top. Yeah. Everything. Now, this is what I do. Yeah. When it curls like that, oh, it's actually being your friend. You know what I mean? It's asking you to say, hey, hug me. You know what I mean? So, it's 12 slices. Let's put uh, six on here. Yeah. XO. Yeah. Drizzle that shit, baby. Don't even worry about it. Just go in. Yeah. It, it's going to get on. Yeah, just oh, go oh, all oh. over it. Wow. Mm. Now, we got our ribeye steak, provolone cheese, yeah. chicken, yakitori, yeah. uptown XO sauce. Yeah. I was reading the piece right. where you were in the Washington paper. Yeah, Washington Post. Washington Post. Right. And the one thing that stood out to me because, you know, I do research on everyone coming on my show. I know you brothers, but I like to go back and, you know, just dig a little bit more. Um, you had a big bowl, orange bowl, yeah. of General Tso's chicken in front of you. Yeah, I did. Where was you at when you had this General Tso's chicken? I was on set, uh, I was on 14th Street in uh, Rhode Island. 14th Street in Rhode Island. And the alias Chinese spot down there. Right here. And that, and that's where um, the writer wanted to meet. My really? Buddy, my, my, my buddy Chris, man. Chris Richard, shout out to him. Okay. In Washington Post, you know what I'm saying? I love it. I absolutely love it. Why you? Big question for you. How does the go-go influence reflect on the cadence of Diamond District? I mean, live instrumentation is alive. Like, you know how a lot of people come up with one flow and they, and they stay stick on with that it their whole life. Their whole career. Right, right, right. Nah, every beat, we be listening to every little piece. Of every cutting, intricate piece. Everything. If you're really listening, it'll help you have a new flow on everything. The second album, I really played with the flow and really tapped into that on yeah. the second album. Yeah, as far as like my flow is trying to All sound right, so we're going different on. on every single track. Flip okay. those over. More XO sauce. Let's go, yeah. XO. I got you, bro. Yes. Yeah. Me and you. We going in here. Grab the bread. Yeah. Gonna put it right there. Sure. Bread right there. Or just both of them. Yeah, both of them. Throw them in there. That's beautiful. Wow, you ain't you ain't here throwing the bread like you've done this before. Man. So now, we'll get our board ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been so much fun. Let's talk some food. Let's talk about it. Let's talk some food. All right. Favorite food. One thing you could eat. Last day. What's it gonna be? For me, pizza. Pizza? Yep. God damn it. You see why he's here? You see why he's here? Yep. Chicken. Chicken shawarma. You going Indian? Mm -hmm. You got the naan bread with it? You know it. Look at these two answers: pizza and chicken shawarma. Yep. Beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Yo, XO. Ladies and gentlemen, steak and cheese is there. Chicken yakitori with XO Uptown XO sauce. This ain't. Same the XO sauce with the dry scallops and stuff. No, this Uptown XO sauce. Uptown XO sauce. You know what I'm saying? Make it for your mama and them. Come on, let's go. So, what we gonna do? We gonna come right back out with the Willingham, beautiful, gorgeous, I mean, absolutely amazing. Nah, you don't need to make no room. I'm gonna grab a couple of towels because it's gonna be, it's gonna be mind blowing right here. You ready? Now. We got this beautiful provolone melted right on top of here, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start building that sandwich while we let this XO chicken yakitori come to life. All right? We got our bread, beautifully toasted. I mean, beautifully toasted, you see that? Just absolutely gorgeous. Soft, exactly what we want it to be. So we'll bring both of these right here, to center stage, and we'll start to build. You good. It's usually not three of us back here, but I, I, I'm feeling the energy tonight. The energy feels so 
so, so amazing. So, why this is happening, we're gonna take the steak and cheese, just like this, all right? And we're just gonna lay it right on top of this beautiful piece of ciabatta bread, okay? Now, we got a couple extra pieces, but we're gonna do something special with those. And we're gonna lay it right on top of there. We'll take the little small parts and we'll look for where our dents are. And we'll say, oh, well, where's it missing a piece? And you know where it's missing a piece? With us, goddammit, this is our goddamn sandwich. Let's get some freaking steak in here. All right, come on, man, get in there. Take some of that crunch in it. Come on, go for it, brother. All good. So, now, see that crunch? Come on. Oh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So, why you, you ready? What are we gonna do? Some of this arugula, we're gonna pull it up just like this. This ain't no curry, I was Lay it right on top. Mm -hmm. Tell them, Exo. Let them know. This ain't no curry, I was taking cheese right here. Let them know. That just looks so good. All right, so, while you come to my left, see how I just did this right here? Do the same thing right on top. While you're doing that, I'm gonna cut us some tomato slices so we can get some tomatoes, big, chunky tomatoes right on top. And we're not gonna stop the show. We're gonna put them right on top. We're gonna make them the big boys that they are. We're making big sandwiches out here. It's Diamond District, goddammit. So, upcoming projects. I wanna hear them, let's go. Well, I got um, Culture of the one and two out right now. One produced by Drew Day, two produced by uh, Kev Brown. And I got the next one dropping soon. I can't let y'all know who um, who that's coming out with. It's a surprise. <laughs> I wish I could tell. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, look. Now, we got that. We're gonna go another level up because we want a bunch of crunchiness. So just take this and spread that over no. on top, just like that. Go ahead, go for it. Well, meanwhile, you got something in the works too, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, got a, I got a bunch of why you, what's up? What you working on? Come on, man, talk to me. You've been making beats lately. You've been making beats lately. Yeah, and I'm working with um, a girl MC by the name of Eva Gray. Okay. On the EP, and I'm doing like a compilation myself. You've always been like the producer MC, not just kind of like, right. kind of like, you know, Odyssey. Like you guys are True the up. producer yeah. MC. You, you've always kind of. As many, I'm, I'm a team What's the player. difference I'm between, player, what's the difference between writing rhymes and making beats? You need both. Sometimes you feel like writing, sometimes you feel like recording. Okay. You, sometimes you feel like... He's like a monk. He's like the hip hop monk that's like, you know what I'm saying? Beyond Sensei, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, you know what I mean? This guy's incredible, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If y'all don't know about but one joint, why you use music, music look look for. What's the joint we looking for? We should be looking for right now. From me and Tall Black Guy. Okay. It's called okay. Still, still you and Tall Black Guy got a joint coming. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got you. It's yeah, you could. You could. Right yeah. now, but right. we probably gonna add on some more to it, but right. That's not like relationship love. It's just at this point, I'm a grown man, and I'm um, in the process of getting there. A lot of people my age stop being in love with they are. Okay. So this is a uh, tall black guy. Yeah. Dope producer. Catch up. Gotcha. Sometimes XO, yeah. it's just catch up. Yeah. That's it is you know what I mean? The grit is the grit. Like Mumbo, so. The grit is the grit. I thought it was no, Mumbo, no, no, no. Well, well, we would have we would've took it to a next level. Okay. When Killer Cow came through, we made a fried chicken and mumbo sauce sandwich. Mm -hmm. That was that was a lot of fun. But for this, nah, we want to elevate it a little bit more. Shout out to Killer Cow. Um, so we got our stone ground mustard, right? We got a spicy mayo at the bottom. We got ketchup at the top. Boom, right over, just like that, okay? Now, I mean, no, it's all good. It's all good. Like I said, we gonna break bread. Now, we got the chicken yakitori with XO sauce. We gonna plate this thing up. XO, you ready? Yeah. All right, it. so 
Um, I got some beautiful plateware from one of my boys. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it on this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it out. When I bring it out, I just want you to almost like 12 o'clock, all the way back to 12 o'clock with the skewers. We'll go all the way around, you ready? All right, now it's gonna be a little hot, but what I'll do is I'll let you know. No, you good, you put it right there, yeah. And then if you just grab this skewer right here, just don't touch a pan, and then all the way around. All right, boom, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Exos Plate and Diamond District is here. Look at this, we got chicken, yakitori, going all the way around the plate with exo sauce. I mean, these skewers look absolutely beautiful. It looks good. And this steak and cheese, sun sun, come on. Look at this. Now, what I would do there is go back under. Okay, yep, back, just back, like back. that, you know what yeah. I mean? And what'll happen is you can really kind of get into your art and go where you want to go from here on out. Boom, it's all you, let's go. Yeah. Yep. It's all good, there it is, that's it. Look at that, now you see where you gave it some height? Yeah. That's beautiful. That's what plate presentation is. Because if you was giving this to your family, you'd be like, oh, I made some chicken yakitori for y'all better understand this Like, I put work in. All right, I'm gonna come over here. Real quick, so sorry. Now, boom. We got chicken, yakitori, with exo sauce. What we'll do is take some of these beautiful sesame seeds. We'll sprinkle them right on top of there, just like that, okay? Now, get a little bit of our olive oil for color. Okay? Even better, some of these gorgeous chives. And I don't know where my knife is, but it don't matter. If you got a knife in your hand, you can make it work. We'll cut up some of these beautiful chives. Now, you ready? All right, brothers. Now, listen, when I was touching the chicken, I also touched. You touch cheese? And doing that, and doing, hey, that and doing that. You know what? I think we should stay away from that right there. That may be a little, I don't know, because when I was, I was touching the wrong chicken. You see? Going in a bowl of chives. That's, That's why you got your people with you. That's why you got your people with you. That's why you got your people with you. Accountability, man. That right there would have caused like a, a train wreck. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go wash my hands. You see, son? Exo, talk to him. Why you talk to him? <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. All right. Hands is washed. Yep. Grab one of these. We back. Now, why you? You ready? Oh, I mean, you gotta cut these bad boys open. I got a nice little bread knife. Just press down, right down the middle. While he's doing that, me and you. Grab a skewer. Come on. Let's oh, see what this thing is hitting ooh. on. Cheers, ah, brother. Okay. Ah. Go on. The XO sauce. Come on, bro. Look at this. Come on, I got you. I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Come on. Straight through. Just like that. Are right, you ready? Now, what we do, we open that up. Just like that. And, I mean, I just washed my hands, you saw me. Grab, how many things is this? How many things is this? Two, two big things, how many? Two big things, two big thing, man. I'm telling you, this is copious amounts. Now, we'll press down, and we'll cut one more. While I'm doing that, brother. Little chicken yakitori. Exo sauce. We got some beautiful steak and cheese sandwiches. And what we'll do is because even though we're making a steak and cheese, we will not, not plate the beauty that we've done. So you take these, all right? And you put a nice little big piece right on there, just like that. Then you take one of these, you put them just like that, all right? Some arugula right in the front. Boom, crushed red pepper, olive oil. And guess what, olive oil on the bread, 
I mean, this is what we went to Philly, Philly to Italy. Olive oil goes everywhere. Damn. Let me tell you. Philly to Italy. Dog. Philly to Italy. All right, let's go. It's the XYZ episode. All right, so now I'm gonna do it to all of them. All right, gentlemen. I've been waiting for this all day long. I've been working, working, working. Let's have some steak and cheese. Let's do it. Y'all ready? Let's go, man. I like to get the end piece. That's hey, why I made hey, a few. Hey. Cause you get a couple end pieces. Look at the same thing. You want that look one? The same thing you did. Hey. Boom. I mean, look at this. Get that close up. Enjoy. Hey, hey, hey. Let's take a DC bite for these fools. Yo, there's a couple of napkins over here. There you go, brother. Here we go. This is the part of the show where we don't say nothing, and I get a knot in the side of my joint, because I should be chewing it, but something, something about two-thirds of Diamond District being here. We made steak and cheese sandwiches. Yo, first off, I want to thank you brothers for being here. It's been thank you, bro. An honor, woo, and a pleasure. Let's um, let's shout them out. Let them know social medias. Why you talk to them? Let's go. Why you taking pictures? Why you taking pictures? Ask yourself. <laughs> now, uh, Instagram. Why you taking pictures? CultureOverCorporate.com. Uptown XO underscore E A L U. Ain't everybody ain't like you. Everybody ain't like us. And y'all definitely ain't like us eating these good sandwiches right now. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all want to get like us, just rewind the video, watch reps, recipes. You can watch, 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 and cook it up. You can chef up right with us. You know what I'm saying? Right here on Kobe, it's a monk. You dig? You post the recipe, you know? I said recipe. Recipes? Yeah. No. Recipe. No, we don't post the recipes. Um. Jack and you want the recipe? The come back, copious amounts. That's what you gotta come do. Fresh rewind. Yo, why you, XO? I'm Camber. This is copious amounts. Episode 12, XYZ episode. Shout out to Skype Williams. Shout out to Humble Mardock, my man DJ Roddy Rod. Shout yes. out to Me Too, KG, Taria, the whole family. Neil, I love you. Yo, tune in. This is it. Look at this. Can everybody make some noise in the building? Look at this. Can everybody make some noise in the building? <laughs> Our family's here. No doubt. Yo, thank you brothers again for coming thank through. You, Yo, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you, bro. Copious Amounts, episode 12. Once again, it's a wrap. G, drop that beat, it's an outro. Copious Amounts TV, at Copious Amounts, at Camber, K-A-I-M-B-R, or Al Green, everything, you know what I'm saying? Talk to him one time, love y'all. XYZ episode, we out.